Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Delaney and this is my 2024 4th of July decorate with me. I'm just going to be adding some simple touches in my living room, my kitchen, and in my son's room on his tear tray. First, I want to show you the few things I picked up this year. I did pick up a new tier tray at Hobby Lobby. It was $37.99, but half off on a table decor week. And then I have picked up a couple of the 4th of July items, so those were 40% off. But this little reversible sign was $3.99 and each of these stars were also $3.99 and I love the sparkles so I had to get them in every color and then I did pick up these two like greenery balls they were $2.99 each in the floral section so I did go pretty light this year because I had quite a bit from the year before I just wanted to share that with you and I'm excited to have this new tier tray here I'll definitely be bringing it back for other holidays but I love the color nice and sleek and it goes well with the space that I'm going to bring it in but first I'm going to dust it off and then I'm going to go ahead and add in some pieces that I have for my 4th of July decor. Whenever I do my tear trays, I like it to look very full, but also, you know, symmetrical, kind of in diagonals, if that makes sense. You'll kind of see as I start decorating. I love to have different heights and depths and textures, and of course, different colors as well. So let's go ahead and get this tear tray decorated. I have these two tear tray risers, a wooden Americana flag, those greenery balls and then I also have a couple of vases that I'm going to play around with too. Okay, so here you can see I have those two greenery balls and then I also have two of the stars. And from the top tier to the bottom tier, I have them going, you know, diagonal. I just feel like it makes the whole tray look a little more symmetrical. I love tier tray risers to help give me different heights. So that is a great idea. You can even use furniture risers. It's one of my favorite things to use, but I also love that Hobby Lobby especially 
um, has these little cute wooden risers, even like cupcake risers, all that sort of thing. This little red house here actually came with a Valentine's Day tear tray set from Etsy. Um, I still don't know why, just because it's red and it has a star on it, so I automatically think, you know, Memorial Day, 4th of July, so I have kept it for my 4th of July decor. It has a little tea light holder, and I love getting tea lights from Amazon that have a timer on them, and I just feel like it makes it so cozy when those little candles just come on in the evening, really creates such a good ambiance here in the living room. So you can all probably already tell but I'm really just adding in some of these 4th of July touches to my already summer decor and a great way to do that is with little flags just popping them in a floral vase that you already have and it just makes it that much more you know related to the holiday that we are celebrating and I always love doing two one on each side and it makes it look very full so I'm just adding in these flags here I also have a little book stack also from Hobby Lobby pretty much everything that I have purchased for 4th of July is from Hobby Lobby I feel like they have just the cutest stuff for this holiday anyways I'm just putting that here on this little cubicle aside of our entertainment stand and then I'm going to end up putting one of my 4th of July vases behind it. Again, you don't need to completely redo your decor for one holiday. If you just want to add some simple touches, I feel like that is great. And then I'm going to go over here to my entryway and I have this red, white, and blue beaded garland. Now I have been having to get super creative lately with my decor because I do have a toddler and depending on where things are, he will definitely just grab it and rearrange it for me. Um, my husband and I joke that he's also doing a decorate with me video. But anyways, this garland, I would love to like hang it over like the fireplace or the table underneath our big living room window or the entertainment stand, but that's just not super ideal. So I thought this was a good idea for this piece. Before we go into the kitchen and add some pieces in there, I want to show you how the whole living room turned out with my settle, yet I feel very beautiful for the July touches. So here on the kitchen counter, I have this little tray with a pitcher vase and some blue florals. So I'm just going to add some flags to this. And then I have this little 4th of July LED candle 
that also has a timer on it. So again, I love that, especially in the evenings. And I'm just gonna style that, making a little vignette here on this tray. And lastly, I want to show you my son's tear tray. Now, I did bring this downstairs because it was after his bedtime, so I'm just going to style it here on the kitchen table. But a lot of this that I have, like this little um, eagle, I believe, and this little firework um, stand set, that is all from the Target Dollar Spot last year. And then everything else I believe is from Hobby Lobby. But again, just kind of playing around with things. I do like things to be symmetrical, but also give a lot of depth and height and different textures. So I always play around with things until I kind of get it just where I want it. One of my goals when my son gets older is for him to just treasure each and every holiday and season. You know, they only come once a year and life really does just kind of go by in the blink of an eye, especially if you're a mama um, to a baby, a toddler, a kid, a teenager, you know, everything just goes by so fast. So I feel like really celebrating these moments is what's so important. So that's why I take the time to do stuff like this. And I can't wait until he's older too. Well, I can wait. So <laughs> let's just say that, but I'm excited for when he's older and I can do more fun, like activities and treats that I know he'll enjoy. And that is going to be it for my 2024 4th of July decorate with me. I hope you enjoyed it and that it gave you some inspiration to add some fun touches of the holiday to your home. Again, a little goes a long ways and I just think everything turned out so sweet simple and sweet. But anyways, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really does mean the world to me and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Have a beautiful day. Bye.